today I'm hitting a free throw with Shaquille O'Neal in every NBA 2K. Starting off with the first ever 2K NBA 2K, where Shaq comes in at a 93 overall. There is no free throw rating in this game though. All right, to get to the free throw line with Shaq here, we're just gonna keep on fouling him. I accidentally stole the ball there. We just gotta keep fouling him until we get into the bonus and now we get an attempt to shoot a free throw which is so hard to do with the game you got to like use the triggers to aim but it's way harder to do with with Shaq than like other players i just got to shoot that we're running out of time oh my they just move so weird I, and that's that's not even close this is so hard no i had it lined up i had it lined up and i went away by accident why has it got to be so Oh, there we go. That's perfectly lined up. That's got to go. Yes. That only took us six attempts. That is not bad at all. I'll definitely take that. We're on to 2K1. Where Shaq is a 98 overall. Still no free throw rating. But we do actually have a free throw practice mode in this game. So we don't have to keep fouling in an actual game. It's the same as last year to shoot here with Shaq. It's still very difficult. Actually, we got that on the first attempt. That's actually crazy. I was not expecting to get that on the first attempt, but I'll take it. We're on to 2K2. Shaq's a 98 overall again. Still no free throw rating. We do have this free throw practice mode yet again um, to get a free throw here. If we just lined it up, oh, that was awful. No, that's not going in. Two here. There we go. That's lined up pretty good. And there it is. That's just too easy. 2K3. And Shaq a 98 overall. Finally have the free throw rating and he has the worst possible rating, a 50. Again, we're in this practice mode, and this time it's a little different. You aim with the sticks instead of the triggers. But it's so much harder with the sticks than with the triggers. There it is. That's going right in. Yes, sir. One for three. Only three attempts. I was not expecting this to go so well so far. It must be the Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro Controller that I'm using, which is today's video sponsor. Thrustmaster's eSwap X Pro Controller is the controller you should be using if you're playing any sort of video game, especially competitively. It will give you the advantage over your competitors, giving you the best precision and accuracy. eSwap X Pro Controller has swappable thumbsticks and offers a solution to expensive stick drift that other controllers have. You're able to completely customize your controller with the swap ability feature to ensure it is perfect for you. Face buttons are premium quality and have a great clicky feel when playing. Not to mention there are also four back buttons you can map to other buttons on your controller so you never have to take your thumbs off the thumbstick. Make sure you click the link in the description and use code SMEAKWOL-ESWAP-X to get your ESWAP X Pro controller today. ESPN Basketball aka 2K4 back in 98 again with that 50 free throw rating. And this year they made it even harder to shoot free throws not only you got to aim with your sticks here you also got to make sure you stop this ball like right in the middle of the free throw which makes this so hard to do with Shaq and Shaq is just very difficult and I hit that too early that time it's no good there it is that's perfect and we get it to go it took six attempts there one of our worst games so far 2k5 jack on the heat now he's a 95 still with that 50 free throw rating we got the same free throw system in this game for the first try oh perfect release and that's money one for one now that we got the same system down we're doing good 2k6 back at 96 overall with a 50 free throw and they switched up the free throw shooting this year we use the right stick to shoot now um, so I don't know if this is going to make it harder or easier. 0 for 1 to start. Oh, okay. We actually got the second one in. 50%. That's, that's pretty good with Shaq there. 2K7. Shaq down to a 92 now. And he still has a 50 free throw rating. Same as last game to shoot. So it shouldn't be too hard. Get a free throw here with Shaq. Why is Shaq also rebounding for us? That, that makes no sense at all. All right, there we go. Perfect release. And nope, not a perfect release, but we get it in three attempts onto 2K8. Jack all the way down to an 87, still with that 50 free throw. You can also change the free throw difficulty in this game. So I'm going to put it at the highest possible to see if we can still hit one with Shaq. Let's see what we got here. Let's go Shaq. Oh my, that, that free throw is awful. That this, this is going to be a problem. I don't even know when to release this. That's still too early. There we go, right there. That's still too early. We gotta wait so long with Shaq. This is the worst free throw I've ever seen. That's still too early, okay. 
Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Let's go. 23 attempts, 4%. Why did I put up the difficulty so high? 2K9. Back on the Suns now. He's an 84 overall with a 50 free throw, of course. This game, I'm just leaving it on the normal free throw difficulty. There we go. Perfect release. Come on. Maybe that was too easy. We're on to 2K10. Jack on the Cavs now. He's an 81 overall. And his free throw rating actually went up to a 63. All right, there's no difficulty on this game. So we're just shooting with Shaq here. Still with this awful release. But we got a good free throw rating. Perfect release. One for one. Shaq's a beast now. 2K11. Shaq on the Celtics. He's only a 77 overall. But he still has that 63 free throw. Again, no free throw difficulty in this game. We use X to shoot or square if you're on PlayStation. And let's see what we got. All right, there we go. Perfect release. Again, one for one. It's just too easy when he has a 63 rating. Can we get two in a row? Yes, we can. Oh, Shaq's just an animal at the free throw line now. Can we even miss? No, we can't miss. We're, we're, we're too good. Shaq is too good. And this was Shaq's last 2K after this. He did retire. But we're hitting one more free throw with him in 2K22. With all-time Magic Shaq, who's a 93 overall, with a 53 free throw. I wanted to use this version of Shaq because we never got to use Magic Shaq in any of the other games. And here we got to go back to the technique of fouling Shaq to get him to the free throw line. Going to the free throw line with Shaq. We are on Hall of Fame difficulty. And let's see what... Oh my, that is so hard to hit. This might be pretty tough on Hall of Fame. Oh my god, I just hit a full court shot there with Robin Lopez. Well, hopefully that gives me good luck to hit a free throw. Okay, that was close. All right, I'm getting the timing down a little better here. And there it is. We hit the free throw with Shaq. Took us six attempts in this game. If you guys did enjoy the video, though, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace.